Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope uh, the sound came in good and clear. Please invite your friends. And today we will finish, uh, you know, remember we start talking about this guy video, but we could not because we received many phone uh, calls in Skype. And we have a few Muslims called us, so we could not finish this uh, video. Uh, so today, uh, you know, we did not forget about him. He's a very silly person. Uh, sadly, you know, in his age, you know. But anyway, uh, you know, uh, today I will show you an example of the low IQ. When somebody wants to think, uh, I mean, you can take your thinking in any direction you want. But obviously, there is something called intelligence. And there is something called uh, somebody is high. And today we are going to give you an example of that high. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Insan, uh, when I say high, you mean like I mean hashish, drugs, you know, etc. Uh, supposedly he's been smart and he come with a very uh, question, which I mean, you cannot obviously, you cannot answer it. That's it. Very, very tough question. Let us listen and see. Christian Prince. <coughs> Christian Prince, if Jesus is God, can he do anything according to his own free will? Christian Prince will surely answer yes, because he is God. And if his answer is no, it means Jesus is not God. Because it is impossible that God cannot do anything on his own free will. Okay, it's impossible. I agree with you. You know, I mean, how you can how you can be God, <clears throat> but you don't have a free will. <laughs> that's funny, right? <laughs> yeah, that's remind me of your God. You know, your God, as an example, if we go to the Quran, excuse me, just give me a second. Uh, this is your book. It's called Quran which is an Aramaic word, a story from the Christian, by the way, which means reading the Bible. Uh, if we go right now and say, uh, let us type this. <clears throat> when Allah in the Quran, in chapter 48, verse number 2 says, that Allah may forgive thee the fault. Uh, by the way, this is for translation. It's not fault. It's sin. You change the translator, you will see the translation change. I mean, shame. But you cannot find one decent translation. Eh, eh. Muhammad and what he can say. Uh, hey, we, ju we just translate from Muhammad Yusuf Ali to Muhammad uh, uh, Bektal. And look, in, in uh, uh, Yusuf Ali, it says fault. Why in Arabic says it clearly, them, 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 you know, all Muslim they knew. I mean, ask any Muslim what the word them mean. They will say to you, sin, <laughs> as simple as that. So if Allah have a free will and he do as is a free will, as he free, as he will, how he say that may Allah forgive thee the sin? <laughs> have you ever heard of Allah <laughs> asking other Allah to say that may Allah forgive the sin, which is supposedly to be forgiven by Allah? I mean, I'm getting dizzy here. So let us say Allah will forgive a Christian prince. Okay, I'm going to convert so I can get some versions and four wives in my bed and start practicing a sport. And then Allah, he don't forgive me. He says, okay, hold on. I cannot forgive you. I am going to ask Allah that Allah may forgive you. Have you ever heard of a God like this before? How many Allah you have? How many Allah you have? If Allah is one and he control his own will, he will not say, may Allah forgive thee. He will say, as Jesus said, Jesus said to the man who cannot walk, okay, your sin is forgiven. Your sin is forgiven. And later we will show you those verses in the Bible. So you're an idiot. You do not know. You just, you just did beat your, fa your, your, your God, uh, sorry, your God, Allah, in the foot. Uh, actually, uh, by the way, Allah have a foot in case you do not know. I mean, the Muslims, they, they keep lying to us, say Allah is not a human. So Allah is what? He's an octopus with foot? So you just shot your God, Allah, in the foot, literally. All right, here we go. This is Allah when he, uh, he start uh, sending people to hell. Hmm? Uh, 
the prophet say, not me, the people will be thrown into hellfire and it will say, who will say, uh, the hell, okay? They will say, are there more uh, to come? Uh, the hell is talking to Allah. <laughs> and then Allah, he will put his foot over it. And you know, by the way, the foot of Allah is big. I mean, my foot is, I think, uh, I don't know, like 13, 14, it's a huge foot. You know, my boat used to be like a, uh, like a yacht you know in the military so anyway my friend so Allah he put his foot and now you are shooting the foot of Allah if Allah is God he will say your sin is forgiven and that's it Allah will not say may Allah forgive your sin and then the God of Islam he have no free will anything as an example Allah in the Quran he says that is one uh, al Qamar okay the chapter of the moon If we assume that Allah have a free will and he is the one in charge, well, in law, in this verse, he said that the, this judgment day started. He don't even say only started that the, 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 the moon split. That's it. Okay. So where is the will of Allah? He stopped. Who stopped Allah? The judgment day, you see in Arabic, it says, اقتربت الساعة. اقتربت mean it's not only near, it's in the corner, very side. You can change the translation, by the way, if you don't like it. I don't know what the what the Indonesian translation will say, but you can switch to any translation you wish. Uh, let us switch to Indonesian translation to see uh, what the Indonesian translation is saying. Yeah, hold on, give me a second. Uh, what is Indonesian translation? <coughs> Japanese, no Japanese, Indonesian, don't speak Japanese. Uh, okay, hold on, here we go. So it's supposed to say, let us say, Tela da Kate da Tankanaya sat itu dan Tila Terbele Bulan. I don't know what does that mean. So what I will do, I'm going to open Google Translation and see what does that mean. Excuse me a second, please. <clears throat> So we will use Google Translation and be my witness. I'm going to copy in front of you. Uh, we will copy the text as it is. And we paste in Google Translation. All right, the time has come near and the moon has a split. Okay, this is the window of Allah. The, 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 the time has come near. <laughs> And this was 1400 years ago, my friend. What happened to the will of Allah? Somebody want to break on it? The will of Allah, the time has come near and the moon split. That's mean that the judgment day started. That's it. Bingo. I mean, the moon split for what reason? What, what the purpose of splitting the moon? Let me think about it. Allah was making cookies. <laughs> he broke one of them. No, 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 no. Allah was playing uh, football and he was uh, playing basketball and uh, he needed the ball so he split the moon. <laughs> My friend, this is your God saying that the moon split and judgment, judgment they started. So if Allah has the will, then his will shall come. Where is the will? Where is, uh, has come? Does it say has come? Okay, where is the, where is the, where is the will of Allah? What's, what, what happened? Obviously, your God, Allah is a joke. Uh, just to remind you, you know, when Allah, he wanted, you know, we mentioned in the previous video, because we don't want to forget anything. Uh, when Allah, uh, he sent his uh, angel, Azrael, to Moses to take his soul. You know, the will of Allah that said, Moses have to die. What Moses did? Moses did box the angel of death in his eye. By the way, all of us Middle Eastern, we play karate. Me, myself, I play karate. I play karate. I play uh, martadella. I play many things, you know. Anyway, so as you see here, Abu Huraira reported that the angel of death was sent to Moses, peace be upon him, and informed that his Lord summons Allah. That's it, Allah decision that Moses, okay, today you will die. What Moses did? <laughs> Moses is a kafir. He don't like the will of Allah. When he come to Moses, he boxed him. 
in his eye and he knocked his eye out <laughs> and the angel of death he came back to Allah and he said you send me to a servant who don't want to die <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> and this is one of the reasons I start learning uh, martial art because if the uh, angel of death come to me all what I need to do just box him in the eye actually in my case I'm going to box him in the eye in the ass in the knots everywhere he is the angel of Allah I got my chance finally to meet him <laughs> and then I will box him everywhere so Allah cannot restore him and send him back I mean I'm, I'm going to make him pieces I'm going to make him shish kebab what kind of a will of Allah this God who he sent his angel to take a soul of somebody and then a little servant he's five foot tall he beat his angel with 600 wings what happened to the powerful angel of death so you idiot, when you come to us to speak about logic, do you even have logic? You know, when somebody says, okay, I'm going to speak about logic. Let us be logical. And look who is talking about logic. People who believe in a flying carpet can carry 600,000 chairs and the kingdom of Suleiman, which reached the army all the way from Jerusalem, all the way to, to, to the Babylonian Iraq. This is his, the size of his army, imagine. All of this in the flying carpet, yes, brother. And yet they want to talk about logic. I like your logic. Hmm? Uh, anyway, like you know, if we go in the Quran, I mean, I, I don't want to, I don't want to hurt your feeling, honestly, because the Quran is my favorite joke, and that's why you, all of you, don't dare to call me Christian friends. I am willing to buy you a ticket and come to my country, and I will debate you. Christian friends, all of them, they say they want to debate me face to face. Nobody, no, nobody. And they will make videos in my back. They like to gossip about me, but they don't dare to debate me. Look at this. If we go in this funny book, as long as you are the one speaking about the will of God, all right. Allah says, if Allah want, he can make them lose their hearing and their sight. Okay, what happened? Why Allah won't? This is a threat or what? Allah will take their hearing and will take their sight, inshallah, if Allah want. <laughs> okay, show me you can do it. You see, we showed you in the Bible and even the Quran agree that Jesus can make the blind see. Allah will make you blind, can he? He cannot. If we go in different verse of the Quran, and this is chapter 2, verse number 20, we will find the Quran saying many things, uh, which is really stupid. Uh, according to Muslims and according to Muhammad, uh, anything happened is by the will of Allah. Anything happened by the will of Allah. And according to the Quran, the reason we are not Muslims, that is the will of Allah. <laughs> Chapter 6, verse number 35. <laughs> what an idiot. Look at this. If Allah want, he can make us all believers. You see, I'm showing you in Indonesia because this is a video I want Indonesia to see. But if you are from my, your side, my friend, just make it easier for me. You can open the same verses and read them from your side in, in the English or language you like. Chapter 6, verse number uh, uh, 35. It says that if Allah, He want you, all of you, to become a believer, He can make you a believer. So don't be from the ignorant. Look how stupid the contradiction. He is saying, if He want, He can make you all believer. And then in the same time, don't be jahil. Don't be arrogant. Don't be ignorant. But you just said you can make them believers, so make them believers. He will go make me believer. Inshallah. In different verse in the Quran. <clears throat> oh, hold on, I forgot this verse here. This is one of the most hilarious verse in the Quran. That your God Allah, he believe that the, the, uh, the donkeys, the birds, uh, uh, animals, all of them, they are Muslims and all of them, they have a book. <laughs> and they will go in the judgment day in front of Allah. Hey, once I ask a Muslim, hey, Allah will judge a mosquito for what? He said, for sucking your blood. <laughs> Unbelievable. But is it Allah who created the mosquito? <laughs> Feed by blood? So what's her fault? I mean, this is the most stupid religion. So you want to convince me that you are God and he have a free will and don't all animals are Muslims. Is, is that include the pig? Hmm? 
I thought the pig is dirty because here it says all animals are Muslims. Read it. And they have a book. And they never, never, I mean, they, they follow the Sharia law. This is why if you go in the Sahih, we will find that there is a monkey who committed adultery and they stone her to death. I, I'm sure you have monkeys in uh, uh, in Indonesia, uh, Staz and San. I'm not sure if you did share any with Sharia law practice to stone some monkeys for committing adultery because she cheated in her wife. If you read the whole story, it's hilarious. You can read my books where the monkey, female monkey, her husband was sleeping over her hand and this filthy female monkey, I will never sleep over my, my wife's hand. You know, no way. I will sleep in her stomach. So I can feel it if she is leaving and I will hold her with my two hands. Actually, I will put cups in her hands, you know, because look what she did. She took her hands slowly from under the head of the husband, Mr. Chapanzi. And you know, Mr. Chapanzi is very well known. He's speed very heavily. He eat a lot of banana and then he's not, you know. So she took her hands slowly from under the uh, Mr. Chapanzi. And uh, uh, she saw a young chimpanzee behind the tree and he had a big banana in his hand. Don't take me wrong, I'm talking about tree banana. So she went there and they do boom, boom behind the tree. And then she came back and she inserted her hand under the head of her husband, Mr. Chimpanzee. Which, you know, I mean, <clears throat> obviously the story is true. And then Mr. Chimpanzee, he started to sniff. He's very good in sniffing, man. I don't know. I don't know if you are good in sniffing like Mr. Chimpanzee or not. You can practice that. So he sniffed and like, what the heck is that? And he sniffed a sperm of other Chimpanzee between her, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about, you know, in that location, in her pocket, in her pocket. So he starts screaming like, ha, 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 ha. And all the monkeys came and they gather and Sharia Allah. And then the, the big ustaz of the monkey, he ordered to stone the female monkey. And you are talking about the will of Allah. If Allah have little will, he will make you smart. So you don't come with such a stupid stories. If Allah have any kind of will, he will not have such followers. He will choose the best of intelligent, not like you. Anyway, what was the topic? Ah, okay, uh, Mr. Insan. Okay, continue, Mr. Insan. We go back to you. <clears throat> oh boy, hilarious. Ah, uh, no, I forgot. Man, I forgot one. Sorry, I forgot. You see those? I, I, I don't prepare for those things, but you know, idea come to my head. Sorry. Forgive me, forgive me. <laughs> Don't stone me like the monkey. So you remember when Allah, he made his will clear and he threatened the Christians. If you don't believe in the Prophet Muhammad, I am going to erase your faces. This is the will of Allah. How come Allah did not make our faces as he promised? The will of Allah, he says to the Christians and the Jews, who people of Al-Kitab, and by the way, how stupid this God is to call us people of Al-Kitab, which means we are people of the book, because what is what Kitab mean? So Allah, the stupid, and you are following him, he confirmed that we are the people of the book. So how you say that our book is corrupt, you idiot? And yet you call us people of the book. <laughs> it's like saying the guy with the car, but he have a camel. Do we have a book or not? If we don't have a book, so how you call us people of the book? So Allah, he made a threat. This is his will. If you don't believe in Allah and Muhammad and the Quran, Allah will erase our faces. Really? Yeah. And he will make our eyebrows and our eyes disappear. And our mouth will become in the back of our neck. By the way, I'm talking to you from my back now. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> uh, he is not like a monkey talking is a human. I'm talking about monkey, little monkey. See, see bar, you're an idiot. You see, this is how silly they are. Look, look, look at this guy. I did not say this guy is a monkey. Did I say that? You are stupid. You are stupid like your prophet. I was reading a hadith about your prophet claiming that monkeys are Muslims. You are stupid like your prophet. I did not say that guy is a monkey. Actually, monkeys are smarter than him. This is the hadith in front of you, you idiot. 
claiming that monkeys are Muslims. Look like you have a low IQ, lower than a monkey, and you think I was talking about him saying he's a monkey. No, monkey is smarter. Don't take me wrong. All right? At least a monkey, he knew how to get the coconut. This guy, he do not know even how the coconut look like. If we put the word coconut in front of him in Arabic, and the word coconut and the, uh, and the, and the, the word Muhammad in front of him, he do not know which one is Muhammad, which one is the coconut. The monkey, he will know it. All right? So I did not say he's a monkey. No, I'm not going to insult monkeys. Sorry. So uh, I'm talking here about intelligence. All right? Intelligence is a problem, obviously. So we go back to uh, to the Quran. The will of Allah, if we Christian don't believe in Allah and Muhammad, and this is not for the judgment day, they cannot say that because he said it clearly, we will do the same to you as we did to the people of who broke the Sabbath. We made them pigs and monkeys. Do you remember? So they cannot say this is for the judgment day, something he would do in the future. No. For the people who broke Sabbath, already he made them pigs and monkeys. Which is a very funny, stupid story. I mean, look at this Islamic garbage. The atheists, they want to prove to us that we used to be monkeys. And the Muslims, they want to prove to us that monkeys used to be human. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> very beautiful. So smart. So intelligence is a blessing from God. But if you don't have God, how you can get that a blessing? Now, why your God, Allah, don't keep his promise? And this is his will. If a Christian prince, if all the Christians don't believe in the time of Muhammad, in the Quran, Allah is going to erase their faces, is going to make them without eyebrows, without eyes. He will make their mouth mute and he will put it in the back of their neck. What happened? Did Allah say something he cannot do? Obviously, he did. He made a promise he cannot accomplish. Show me one person, Allah, he made him like that. <laughs> Not even one. <laughs> Not even one. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. I remember one. His name is uh, Ahmad Didat. He said, if I am lying, may, Allah, may God silence me. And then he have a cancer in his tongue for seven years. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> uh, we go back to you. Continue, please. Uh, I, excuse me for disturbing uh, your video. But I have to make some comment, as you know. I cannot... I'm like your prophet. I cannot keep my, my mouth shut. But when I speak, I speak very wise words. Not like your prophet speaking about in this uh, private part and stuff like this. Crazy stuff, you know. Banana stuff. Okay, continue, brother. Isn't it? I will let Jesus an answer. Whether he can oh, hold do on, hold anything. On. Hold on, we have to go back. To if Jesus is God, hmm. can he do anything according to his own free will? Hmm. Christian Prince will surely answer yes, yes. because he's God. Yes. And if his answer is no, it means Jesus is not God. Because it is impossible that God cannot do anything. On his own free will. He said, yeah, we just prove that Allah, as you see, we give you some reference. We can give English, by the way, that Allah don't have a free will. Now, prove to us that Jesus have no free will. Let us see how that will work. I will let Jesus an answer mm. whether he can do anything mm. on his own free will mm. or not. Okay. Please read Jesus' words in the, in the gospel according to John chapter number 5, verse number 30. Okay. Jesus said, I cannot do anything on my own. Mm -hmm. The Father sent me, mm -hmm. and he is the one who told me how to judge. Mm -hmm. I just with fairness because I obey him and I don't just try to please myself. Christian Prince, isn't that Jesus' testimony that... Okay, guys, be my witness. This Abdul, he just admitted that this is the true word of Jesus. They cannot deny it no more. Guys, is this is this is the same guy who made videos before denying all the testimony of Jesus, and now he's saying Jesus, this is Jesus testimony. Okay, no problem. 
Now, what do you say, John chapter 5, verse number 30? Is that the only verse to prove your point? Why you did not read before it? So people will laugh at you. This is John chapter 5. The Muslim, they choose a verse and they try to make a story of it. Jesus simply is saying to them, because what they see in the front of them, they see a man. They are they just see a man who is walking between them and he is born from, from their nation, supposedly. So who, how, what he is, you know, what he is, is, is God? So Jesus explaining to them where his authority is coming from. This is not the authority of a man. This is the authority of God. So if we go a little bit before you arrive to verse number 30, and shame on you not to read, why you don't read the whole chapter for the Muslims? So either they laugh at you or they laugh at me. But you will not read the, 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 the whole chapter because the whole chapter will make you stupid. You will see here when when Jesus, uh, uh, he was uh, uh, doing his miracles, people, they are calling him my Lord. And Jesus, when he is doing his miracle, he do miracle nobody can do. And then Jesus, he said to the man who cannot walk, pick up your bed and walk. And the man, he said to him, my Lord. And the Jews, they were saying to him who has healed, it is Sabbath. You are not permitted to carry your bed. But he answered and said to them, he who made me well, he said to me, take up your bed and walk. And you know that the order of God of the Jews is not to do that in the day of Sabbath. <laughs> but because this is the God of the Jews, he can. Then they ask him, who is the man who said to you? You notice here it says man. This is why Jesus is trying to explain to them that it is not the man in the front of you who is doing this. It is God in this man. Every authority I have is from my father. And the second he said the father, they knew and, and they understand that he said God. So who said to you that? Who is that man? They said, take up your bed and walk. Uh, they said to them, okay, this is the, the person. Okay, hold on. Let us go back. Sorry. We click by mistake. So they, uh, uh, they were a question, who is this person who said that? And then they went to him to see who is this person. And then when they came to prosecuting him for what he is doing, they were seeking to kill him because he did those things in the Sabbath. But Yeshua himself said to them, my father is working until this hour and I also working. <laughs> so you idiot, why you did not read this to the Muslims? He just claimed that he is God the Father but let us say he is the son in the earth, which means my father, we are one. Me and the father, we are, I am the son, he is the father, my father is working, I do the same work in this earth. And this was meant by saying me and the father is one. And because of this, the Jews were specially seeking to kill him, not only because he broke the Sabbath, but also he said that he is God, his God that, that God was his father, and he was making himself equal with God. Why you did not read those to the Muslims? Because you are a fraud. Shame on you. And then look what Jesus said to them. But Yeshua answer said to them, Timeless truth, I tell you, the Son cannot do anything of his own, but the things that he sees the Father is doing of those things that Father does. Thus, these also the Son does like him. Jesus just claimed that he can do exactly as the Father. Whatever the Father can do, he can do. But I'm not doing it on my own because simply he's a man in front of them. So he is saying to them, I have everything that have the Father have. As he do work, I work. As he, he make, I make. All things he do, I can do. Look what he said. For the Father love his Son, and he shows him everything. He does a greater deed than these he will show him, that you may be astonished. 
So, but why the Messiah, why the Father, they want to be, want them to be astonished? Read carefully. And here it says, For just as the Father raises the dead and gave them life, thus also the Son gave life to whom he will. Do you see it says he will? Who, who, who will? Jesus. So when you quote for me the verse number 30, which is a few verses after, you are an idiot. Jesus, he just confirmed that the will of the Father and the will of the Son is a one will. So when he say, I do nothing of my own, he's speaking about himself as a man. They are wondering, like, who is this man who is breaking the command of the Sabbath? Who is this man who is forgiving sin? Who is this man who is making himself equal to God as we showed you the, the verses before it? Who is this person who do that? So he was saying, everything I have is from your God, for God is in me. And the funny, it is you, your idiot, is the one who will quote that later. For it is not for the Father, for it is not the Father who judge a man. Why he did not show that to the Muslims? Who is the judge in the judgment day? It's not the Father. You just said that Jesus said the, the will of my father and Jesus have no will. Okay, but look what he said. The Messiah, he told them, he, as I said, he's explained to them that even the judgment day is given to me. Yes, I am in front of you as a man, but I am the son of God. I have the authority, which is the authority of the father. For that, no man, for it's not for the father who judge a man, but he has given all judgment to the Son. All of us will be standing in front of the Messiah. He will be our judge. That everyone should honor the Son and as honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son, he is not honoring the Father who sent him. Do you see it, you idiot? So what is the will of the Father? That you Muslim should obey Jesus, for he is your judge, and he is going to forgive your sin or send you to hell. What is the will of the Father? It is to believe in Jesus and to follow him. As what? As the resurrector, as the truth, as the one who forgives sin, as the creator. And the one who do not honor Jesus, this is why you Muslim, you insult Jesus day and night, say he's just... He is no one. Muhammad is more honorable than him. Imagine a criminal like Muhammad. A person who sleep with the children. A person who took his own son wife. He flirted with her even when she was in the house of her own, his own son. A thief, a murderer, a killer. Even the Muslim accuse him of stealing and the wear. You Muslims, you say, he is better than Jesus. Shame on you. What the story behind this? Go and read the story behind it. You will find that the Muslim accused the Prophet of stealing a red velvet, a piece of a clothes which is red. What kind of a companion they are. Imagine Peter accusing Jesus that he stole a coat. <laughs> that would be something, isn't it? So the companion of the Prophet accusing the Prophet that he stole a bikini. And yet, you Muslim, you insult Jesus and you say, Muhammad is the most beloved person to God. Shame on you. And shame on you to quote for the Muslim chapter, which is a chapter proof easy that Jesus is God himself. Why you did not decide to read those verses before? You know, guys, you remember, you notice with me here, he, he quote for us verse number 30, but here it says, The son cannot do anything of his own, but the thing that he sees the father is doing, for these things that father does, these also the son does. Why he did not choose this sentence? Do you know what? You know what? You know this why? It says here, the son cannot do anything of his own. Right? 
but you don't want it because this is the problem this verse if we say go and read verse number 19 we will notice that the messiah is saying clearly that the son the man in the front of you he is not doing of his own this is god in this flesh of a man is speaking to you god in the flesh of the man he can he can do the same as the father for, but the things that he sees the father is doing nobody saw god nobody saw god the Muslim believe nobody saw God. Jesus says, the one who sees the Father, he is the, he is, who is the one who sees the Father? The Messiah. For those things that the Father does, also the Son, he does like him. Who can say, who dare to say, I can do whatever God can do? Let us say I am a prophet. Let's say Jesus claimed to be a prophet according to this idiot, Mr. Insane. And yet the prophet, he can say, that whatever God he can do, I can do. So he avoided choosing this verse, which is saying the same as he was quoting, but this verse is a disaster. So he avoided re reading it and he jumped to verse number 30 because this verse is the one it can make his propaganda look like real. Right? <clears throat> Do you see, do you notice the guys, the, the, how hypocrite he is and how fraud he is? Why he skipped all those? Because those things will prove that Jesus is Lord. Timeless truth I speak to you. Whoever hears my word and trust in him who has sent me has eternal life and he comes not into judgment, but he moves from death to life. Hmm. Timeless truth I speak into you. The hour is coming, and it's even now when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God. And who he who here shall live? The who? The voice of the Son of God. He avoided those because those would prove that Jesus is God. And then Jesus, did he stop? No. For just as the Father has the life in himself so he has given also the son to have the life in himself do you see it which means whatever the father have the son have read it and again all of this is the purpose of explaining how i am a man yet i am who can do what i can do because those people they see just a man in front of them they are not seeing somebody with wings or they are seeing just a human being. Please don't force me to give you time out by reposting things over and over. Don't change the topic. Focus with us. Otherwise, leave. Please. I want mature adult people here. No place for kids. And then he has given him authority to also do judgment because he is the son of the man. So he's explaining to them, I am the son of man. Yes, but I have all the authority God he have, which is your God. Do not be astonished at this for the hour is coming when all who are in graves shall hear his voice. Voice of who? Jesus. And they shall come out and who, those who have done good things to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil deed to the resurrection of judgment. And here we arrive to the verse he chose for us, verse number 30. This is the one he chose. Why? Because he is a fraud. And why you did not read the verse after it? I cannot do anything of my own, but according to that which I have heard, I judge and my judgment is just. He just The same verse you quote for us, you read it, it just claimed to be that Jesus is God. For how Jesus can be, I am a just judge. When all of us, we knew, even you Muslim, you call Allah Al-Adil. Nobody is just supposed to save God. Because in order to be just, you have to be all knowledgeable, which means nobody can hide the truth from you. 
if two people they accuse each other of things of something and i have no proof to prove myself not guilty the judge cannot be just because simply he have limited knowledge so in order to be a judgment and he is a just he have to be a person of full knowledge and actually even your prophet the prophet of shish kebab he said it clearly that the messiah is absolute just judge so he said that the messiah he will come down to earth as hakaman muqsitan who is going to come down to earth the messiah read it by him who is the hand in my life the son of mary me uh, 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 peace on him supposedly this is by the way uh, uh, doesn't say that in the hadith this is between two bracket will soon descend and this is against again an additional lie proven muhammad to be a fraud because he said very soon he will come down you, do you not only very soon actually in arabic it says do you do you know what you shikna is like almost there like he's here he's here he's here not only very soon you shikna like awshaka it's mean like almost failing almost failing <clears throat> let us see anyway this is enough so here you see that Muhammad saying that the Messiah is almost down from where from heaven he descend the Messiah will descend and the Messiah supposedly is not honorable as Jesus but yet Muhammad is uh, Muhammad the fraud the worms ate him and Jesus supposedly he is not equal to Muhammad he is now in heaven and he will descend and he what, what he will be he will be just judge as Jesus he promised in the Bible and nobody can be just judge save God so the verse you choose for us proving again that Jesus is God so he is saying to them I am not seeking anything of me as a man but the one who sent me which is your God and look what he said after that and you are a coward you did not read the verse after it and if I testify about myself my testimony is not true which means if I am saying great things about me well maybe I'm not being truthful but what about that the one who testify about me is your God himself there is other another who testify about me and I know that that his testimony which is he testify for me is a true you sent to Johanna and he testify concerning the truth and he mentioned to them what uh, Johanna he said about him and then he continues saying but I say those things that you may live. You see, I say those things to save you. I am the one who will make you give you a chance to live. He was blazing and shining lamp, and you were willing to uh, uh, boast about the time of his light in his light. But my testimony, which has uh, uh, born to me, is a greater than Johanna for the work that my father gave me to finish. Those work which I have done testify for me that the father has sent me so jesus saying to them talk is a cheap don't believe in the talk believe in the fruits do you see what i did what testify about me is what i have done did you see how many people i healed did you see how many blind how many people who cannot walk did you see all the miracle i did those testify for me and the father who sent me he testify of me you never heard his voice and you have not seen his appearance and his word is not ab abiding in you because you are not trusting in him who has sent and read here search the scriptures for them you hope that you have eternal life and they testify concerning me and you are not willing to come to me 
that the eternal life may be yours so by coming to Jesus you will have eternal life I do not receive a glory from the children of men I do not need your glory human being you cannot give me glory for I know you that you that the love of God is not in you I have come in the name of my father and you do not receive me and if another shall come in his name or name you will receive him how can you believe who are accepting glory one from another maybe this is too much hard for you to understand but all those words testify that Jesus is God and you chose for me one verse shame on you no dignity no honesty Muslims when somebody says I can do what God can do did he say clearly I am God can Muhammad say I can do what Allah can do can Muhammad say I do the same work Allah can do Muhammad he could not according to Muslims Muhammad have a children and they die he was a crying about them supposedly he could not save himself Muhammad died by poison he could not heal himself so when this man he read for you a verse he is not being honest let us continue a little bit with his video so we can love more He cannot do anything on his own free will. Liar. How come? How come? It's because Jesus is not God, but he is only the messenger of God. Mm. So, everyone who cannot do anything on his own free will definitely is not God. Yeah, like Allah. Anyone who claims to be sent by God definitely is not God. Jesus admitted that he was sent by God. It means Jesus is not God. Okay, hold on. So if Jesus he said that the one who sent me, he is not God, but you are an idiot. You just admitted that Jesus in the same chapter, he called himself that he is a son of God. And the Jews, they wanted to kill him, not because only he is breaking Sabbath, but he made himself equal to God. So shame on you to lie. You see, when we say Jesus is God and we believe in the Trinity, that will not be a problem if we say the Father, he sent the Son. For we believe in the Trinity, you idiot. So the Father, he sent the Son. So, the Bible says, and let me help you, for God, he loved the whole world. He sent his only begotten son. So you brought no secret for us. Still, we have the father, we have the son. And here you see that the father, he gave the son all the authority. So when the, when the Messiah speak about himself, explain himself to the human being like you and me, so we might understand this person who speaks, speaking, I can do what God can do. Either he is a crazy or he is God. But the Messiah cannot be a crazy person because he did what nobody can do save God. Same time, he seek nothing of his own. Like Muhammad, he made verses about his privilege, about his private part. Privilege about money, the fifth of the booty for the Prophet. The best of the booty of the, for the Prophet. The Prophet, he made verses in the Quran that women, they can give themselves as a gift to sleep with them. The Prophet, he made the verses in the Quran about how to enter his house only for him. The Prophet of Islam, he made verses in the Quran, forbid his wives from marrying any man after him. All of those are privileged to Muhammad. What is the privilege of Jesus? He died in the cross for us. He been insulted. He been chased to be killed. And later they killed him. No privilege. So obviously your Prophet is a fraud. And here later, in a few seconds, he will say to us something will prove him to be stupid again. Listen what he will say. Maybe Christian Prince will answer. 
Indeed, Jesus cannot do and follow his own free will because he is 100% God and 100% human. As a human, he cannot do and follow his own free will. That's false. You see, uh, you know, actually, you know what? Uh, I will let you answer. I'm not going to give you the answer, guys. He will answer. Just listen. But, Christian Prince, please remember what Jesus said in the Gospel according to John chapter number 10, verse number 30. Jesus said, the Father and I are one. Once more, Jesus said, the Father and I are one. So you stupid. You just admit it. That Jesus says the Father and I is one. So how the will of Jesus is not the will of the Father? Obviously, Jesus is just telling them that everything I do, it's not the will of the man, it's the will of your God, which is in me. For me is <laughs> me and your and the Father is one. <laughs> and the funny, isn't it you who challenged me before? To show you one verse in the Bible where it says that Jesus is God. I mean, do you see how this guy is stupid? He just answered himself. So how you are saying that the will of the Father is not the same as the will of the Son when the Messiah, he said, me and the Father is one. So the will is one. So Jesus saying, everything I do is from the Father. Everything you see is from the Father. Who is the one who sent me to you? Is the Father, but the Father and me is one. Do you see how stupid you are? And to make it more stupid of you, just a few weeks ago, maybe you forgot, you challenged me to find one verse in the Bible that says that Jesus is God. And now you admitted that this verse saying Jesus is God. But isn't it you in this video who said to me, Christian Prince, Christian Prince, you worship Jesus as a God, don't you? Don't you? Yeah. My question is, in this verse in the Bible that shows Jesus said, I am Allah, you are Lord, so worship me only. See? He was asking me, show me one verse in the Bible that says Jesus saying I'm God. And now, the idiot, he is quoting for me a verse, Jesus saying he is God. And he himself is saying, well, if Jesus is in God and God is in him, which means he's God, so how he is following the, you know, he don't have his own will. Do you see what is it? You see the stupidity? He just admitted that this verse is claiming that Jesus is God. Listen again. First number 30. Jesus said, the Father and I are one. Once more, Jesus said, the Father and I are one. A, a question for you, Christian Prince. When Jesus cannot do and follow his own free will, where is God that is in him? See, he just admitted that God is in him. If we can prove that the will of the Father is the same will of the Son, but, but the same verse prove it. The same verse we are reading is proving that the, the, the will of the Father is the will of the Son. If we go to chapter the, to, to the, uh, the book of John, actually, the same, this, the same chapter he was quoting for us from. Verse number 23. It says, for the Father, he honored the, 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 the Son. As the Son, he honored the Father. The Father, he honored him too. That everyone should honor the Son as one honor the Father. He who does not honor the Son is not honoring the Father who sent him. What does that mean again? That the Father and the Son is your God. And who honor the Father, he honor the Son automatically. And the who honor the Son, he honor the Father. For the honor of the Father is the same honor of the Son. 
And then Jesus right away says, whoever hears my word and trust in him who has sent me has eternal life. So trust in the one who sent me to you. To what? That I am the one who can save you. And what I will do? That the one who shall hear the voice of the Son of God, he will live. The voice of Jesus, if you listen to and obey and follow, life will be given to you. For just as the Father has the life in himself, so has given also the Son to have the life in himself. So Jesus saying to them, me and the Father is one. Whatever the Father have, I have all the authority. And not only that, actually, Jesus now, he just said, and he continues saying, and he has given him the authority that also do judgment because he is the Son of Man. Who is going to do judgment in the judgment day? The Messiah. Who testify for Jesus? The Father. Who seen the Father, the Messiah? This person he refused to read for you because you don't want he don't want you to see. Do you think that I am accusing you before the Father? There is one who accuses you, Musa is the one whom you hope for. If you had trusted Musa, you would also trust me, for he wrote about me. And if you want to know what is the will of the Father, that will be very easy, actually. If we go to John, the same book, you see, we go in the same, same book, book of John, we go to... Uh, let us say uh, chapter 14. Just to show you the deception of those people who have no dignity. <clears throat> In chapter 14, Tuma he said to him, Our Lord, read, read, the idiot, insane who call you insan. We do not know where you are going and how we can, we, we know the way. Yeshua, he said to him, I am the living God, the way and the truth. And by the way, here somebody will say, uh, 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 in different translation, it doesn't say I am the living. It, the, the translation here is giving the exact terms of the word. So in, in, in the Hebrew, when they use the word Lord, each time the English says there's two kinds of Lord. There's Lord who is uh, Jehovah or Yahweh, and there's Lord can be like a normal person. He's a master of a slaves or etc. So each time the word come as Lord with, you know, as, as Jehovah, as Yahweh, it be translated in the Aramaic Bible. This is the Aramaic Bible translation as I am the living God for this what it says. When Moses says he saw uh, 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 the fire in the bush and he spoke to God, and you know, and he said to God, "Okay, what I will tell my people? Who are you?" He said to him, "I am." What is the word used? Is equal to in the translation, "I am the living God." But if you go in different translation, you will see it says, "I am who I am." But the fact there, the word is about Yahweh, who is the living God, the way and the truth of the life and the life. Who is the Messiah? I am the I am the living God. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No man comes to my father but by me alone. Do you see it? If you had known me, you also have known the father. So by, uh, by knowing the Messiah, you know the father, you know God. And from this hour, you do know him, and you have seen him. From this hour, you saw him. Philippo said to him, Our Lord, show us the Father, and it is sufficient for us. 
one of the disciples saying to the Messiah, okay, well, show us God. So, and here you notice that after all what Jesus is saying, still this person here, Philippos, he is trying to make it more clear. Like, okay, so well, where is the Father? Show us the Father. Yeshua said to him, all this time, I am with you, and you do not know me, Philip. Amazing. What the person was asking? Show us God. Show us God. What the answer? I am with you all this time, and you do not know me. And the funny, I'm looking at the chat, I see questions, people asking me questions have nothing to do with my topic, which is showing me how mature the people who they are listening sometimes. Look what I'm talking about, and look what they are talking about in the chat, some kids. No maturity. It's like a bunch of kids. The teacher is speaking about uh, uh, making satellite, and the kid says, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> if you are not mature, leave. Please, just leave. We don't care about numbers. We care about quality. So here we see the Messiah confirming that not only the will of the Father is my will, but I am in the Father and the Father in me. And whoever saw me, he saw the Father. And his disciples says to him, clearly, show us the Father, show us God. That is sufficient for us. Yeshua, he said to him, all this time I am with you, and you did not know me, Philip. And this idiot, he says to us, Jesus don't have a free will. All this time I am with you, and you have not known me, Philip. Whoever has seen me, he has seen the Father. So how you say to us, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and my Father in me? The word which I am speaking is not speaking from myself, but my Father who do well within me. The answer for, he, for you here in the front of you, you idiot in Sam. Jesus, he just said that the Father is speaking on him. So how your idiot says that Jesus have no free will? When the mouth of Jesus is speaking the words of the Father. Do you see it? Shame on you. You have no dignity. You have no honesty. You have no truth on you. I don't respect you, even though you are an old man. You know, I've been, uh, uh, all my life, I grow as a Christian. I really respect old people very, very much. And I spoke that about that many times. It doesn't matter if they are Christian or Muslim. It doesn't matter. But I don't respect you for your lies. I respect your age. Shame on you. This is why we as a Christians, those people, they don't even, they can't even answer who is Allah. If you ask this, this guy, who is your God? He don't know. They don't know if their God is a spirit or not. Let us see how many Muslims will leave Islam by this video. Because those videos, you know, and by the way, I encourage those who call themselves Ustad. I mean, where are you? This poor guy when I answer me, this guy he can't answer like I, I can crush him between my two fingers easy. Where is the where is the big ustaz? Huh? Where is the ustaz who make uh, five thousand dollars from every speech as we saw in the newspaper in Indonesia? You are busy collecting money. You have no time to answer a Christian prince to refute him. Where is the ustaz? 
You are busy eating a barbecue and shish kebab and hummus and four wives in the house. Where are they? This is the best you have? We are laughing. And again, an open challenge for all those who call themselves Ustad in Indonesia. Who dare? Who dare? The Arab don't dare. All of them, they want to debate me, by the way, but uh, face to face. Face to face. I mean, they have no problem to make videos about me, but this is not face to face. How come you make videos about me? Is that face to face? No. So how come if you will not talk to me unless it's face to face, then why you make videos? The open debate, this is a closed debate. Guys, he want an open debate. We have like now, it is night time and I, like not many people here because it's the timing is not, is, is not right. If I go in different time, I will have maybe 1,500. So is that a closed debate? We are in YouTube. We have people from around the earth. How open it can be more than this? Right now we have 900 chairs full of people, 900 something. How that can be closed debate? And who care about open and close? I mean, people, they want answers. So now when he is making videos to Christian Prince, says, Christian Prince, why Christian Prince? Okay, so how come he can say, why Christian Prince in YouTube, but he cannot say, why Christian Prince in life? You see the hypocrisy? Say the same things you want to say to me in the video, say it to me live, and let people either laugh at you or laugh at me. And actually, each time I remember, like, his why, it's kind of hilarious, you know. Grand Prize BMW for Christian Prince. Hi, Christian Prince. Hi, hi. What hi? You know what are you? What, 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 we are sixteen years old kids in the street. What do you mean hi? Say assalamu alaikum. Speak like a man. What hi? Hello. He he. Ha ho. Hi. You are a stars, and you say hi. Hmm. I see. Okay. Well, hi hi. What we can do? Hi to you. All right. Anyway, as you see, this is it. those are those people are very silly, and they have no qualification. Now, the one who is going to pause the video, uh, you can cut it from here because we are done. Actually, I wasn't planning to make it that long. Sorry for that. And you know, they want to give you BMW. Go and save the, the 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 poor Indonesian people who they are working as maids in Saudi Arabia. One thousand two hundred uh, uh, Indonesian poor maids disappear, killed in Saudi Arabia. 1,200, shame on you. And you want to give me BMW? Who, who, and why, by the way, why, why in Islamic countries, especially like Saudi Arabia, people disappear? Because Islam, Islam, they are practicing Sharia Allah. Just because you're Indonesian, you are not an Arab, they kill you, they throw you in the desert and nobody look for you. That is the truth. If a person who is a white person with the blue eyes and he is an American citizen, he was killed, all the department of the police and the army will be searching for the criminal. But 1,200 Indonesian girls disappear. Until now, we did not find one a criminal. Just one. Nobody knows what happened. They raped them. And when the poor maid, she is going to deliver a child because this will be a crime. What they do? They kill her. They dump her in the desert in the middle of nowhere. And then they report to the police that she stole, stole our jewelries and she is gone. 
and who is going to believe? And if one day they found her in the desert dead, they would say, ah, oh, well, maybe she ran with somebody and he killed her to steal the money she, it was with her. My advice for Indonesian, I, doesn't, I don't care if you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, I, I, we love you all. Never go and work in Islamic country. No human right. For whatever Islam goes, no human right. And that is telling you the whole story about Islam. Never go work in an Islamic country if you are coming from a poor citizenship because they have no respect to you. They will treat you as a slave. They will beat you. They will rape you. They will abuse you. They will make you work like a, like a donkey without a salary. I know tons of stories of poor Filipinos, Indian, Indonesians, who go there and then the Saudi he says to them, "Oh, I am not going to pay you. If I, you know, if you if you report me, I'm not paying you a salary. I will accuse you that you stole something from me, and they will cut your hand. They will believe who? They will believe the poor Indonesian, or they will believe the master, the white Arab man. They make you work all year long, and then you go back home with shame, with nothing. Never go there." Anyway, I'm not going to keep you long. Feel free to download the video. As you see, to refute those people is very easy. He just answered himself. The father and the son, whoever spoke to me, whoever saw me, he saw the father. Therefore, the will, when Jesus says, let your will be done. Jesus said, nobody can take my, 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 myself from myself. Nobody can kill me. Nobody can take myself. I lay down myself. That is the will of the Son, which is the same as the will of the Father. Did Jesus say, nobody can take me? Yes, he did. For that is the will of the Son. Did Jesus say that he came from heaven? What is the will of the Father? Let us finish this. This is... John, the same book he is reading from, John 6. Why he don't want to read for us? If we read what Jesus said in this chapter here, we will find. Many amazing things about Christ. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. See, I'm just helping you now. But the one who sent me is in me. <laughs> Which means, the one in front of you is not just the will of a man. This is the will of the Father. And this is the Father will. So what is the Father will? Which he has sent me. That if all which he has sent given to me, given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise up again at the last day. And this is the will of him who sent me, that every one which sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up in the last day. So, what is the will of the Father? Is to believe in the Messiah. So how you say the Messiah have no free will? When he and the Father is one, when the will of the Father is to believe in him, the Messiah, to honor the Son, do you see it? That is the will of the Father. I am the living bread <clears throat> which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread he shall live forever and the bread that i will give is my flesh which i will give for life of the world do you see the will of the son this is the will of the father too when jesus said 
I lay down my life. In the same book, the book of John, which this person don't want to read for us, why he did not why he did not mention the rest? Because simply they have a propaganda and the propaganda have to be served in a certain way. So Jesus, when he said, I put down my life, nobody take my life from me. It's my free will. But at the same time, the Messiah said, that your will be done to the Father. Which means the will of the Father and the will of the Son of the Son is the same. If we go to John chapter 10. You will see Jesus in the same chapter saying, but again Yeshua said to them, Timeless truth I speak to you, I am the living God, the gate of the folk. And all who had come were thieves and robbers. But the folk did not hear him. I am the living God, the gate, if anyone will enter by me, he shall live and shall go in and out shall find the pastor. But a thief does not come except to steal, kill and destroy. That's your prophet. I have come that you may live. What Muhammad he came for? Steal, kill, rape, gang, caravan gang, thief, clothes thieves, women thieves, all kind of thieves. Muhammad come to kill the Messiah. He come to give life. I am the living God, the good, the God, the, the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his folk. Who is the one who laid down to his people the Messiah the living God but who is forcing the Messiah to lay down himself because if the Messiah he don't have a free will then he should be forced to give his nobody would like to give his life we will see the Messiah saying that I am laying because I'm laying down my life that I may receive it again no man take it from me I am laying down of my own life for I am authorized to lay down and I am authorized to receive again and this is the commandment I have received from my father the Messiah he confirmed that he is in total agreement with the will of the Father. I lay my down myself willingly, and yet this is the commandment of my Father. This is the plan. And I lay down. Nobody forced me. And I am the living God. Just as the Father know me, I know my Father and I lay down my life for the folk. But I have other sheep were not from this fold. I must also bring to them. And here, this verse here, in chapter in John chapter 10, uh, verse number uh, 15 uh, and 16, it shows the, 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 Muslim, the Muslims, this guy himself, he said to us that the Messiah, uh, he was sent only to the Jews. But the Messiah, he said it clearly, I have sheep which were not in this fold, which mean not in Israel. They also will hear my voice. And they will enter the fold, shall be one. Do you see it? So when they speak to us, they are always, and look how many times the Messiah keep repeating, me and the Father is one. Me and the Father is one. I and my Father, we are, we are one. So all what the Messiah is explaining, that I am the Son of God who came to you as a man, in the flesh of a man. But when you listen to me, when I, what you do, I, I, as I say, when you believe in me, you believe in God in the same time. For me and God is one. For me and your God is one. For the one who saw me, he saw the Father. 
You see, in order to understand Christ, we don't go and read the verse as they do and they try to make a story from it because we can do the same to them. As an example, we can say, the Quran says, don't pray. La taqrabu salat. And I cut the second part of the verse. La taqrabu salat means, don't pray. I can do that. I can say, look, the Quran says, don't get close to pray. And I cut the rest of the verses. But this is, doesn't say that. It says, don't go pray and you are drunk because the Muslim, they are drunk people like Muhammad. And here you see what kind of people they are, those who follow Muhammad, a bunch of gangs. They are going to pray behind Muhammad and they are feeling apart. And people, they start laughing at Muhammad because his followers are a bunch of gang who drink until they are drunk. And now they are going to pray. And imagine, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. And they fell apart. And people start making fun of Muhammad. And what kind of religion this religion is? So Muhammad, he says, don't get too close to pray when you are drunk. And here Muhammad, he could not force them to be not to be drunk because he was weak. He's a coward. Muhammad is an opportunity man. He's like a virus. When he is weak, he don't want to awake you, so you will kill him, destroy him. He wait until you are weak, so he can destroy you. That is the virus, Muhammad. I hope we have a clear explanation for everybody. I remember always when the Messiah, Messiah repeated many times that I am God, I am the living God, I am and the Father is one. Whoever saw him, he saw me. Whoever hear me, he hear him. Whoever you, the word I say is his words. So when that person, he says to you, the will of the father is not the same as the will of the son. He is just being an idiot like he's a prophet, trying to make a story out of no story. And as you see, it's all over the Bible. Actually, I did not even show you much. We can show you way more, but that will make it endless. But if you, I say to the Muslims, I say to him, the word, the, the word, the word of Jesus, Tuma, when he said to him, Our oh Lord, don't know where you are going, how we can know the way. The Messiah said, I am the living God, the way, the truth, and the life. The Muslim, they stole the names of Jesus and they give it to, to Allah. For Allah, he claimed to be the truth. He claimed to be the life. But those are the names and the attribute of Jesus. As you see, he is the life. He is the truth. For the Messiah, he says, if you had known me, you also have known my father. How you know the father? By knowing Jesus. Very simple. For the one who see him, he so far the father. And for from this hour, you have do you do you do know him and you have seen him. Philip said, Our Lord, show us the Father, and this is sufficient for us. Yeshua, he said to them, All this time I am with you, and you do not have not know me, Philip. Whoever see me, he seen the Father. When Jesus says, whoever see me, he saw God. Is that saying he is God? You liar, hypocrite Muslims. Can Muhammad say, whoever see me, he see Allah? Can Musa say, whoever see me, he see Allah? Shame on you to say that Jesus nowhere says he is God. Whoever see me, he see the Father, which means Jesus is the visible image of the invisible image of God. And actually, this is the word of the Bible. He is the visible image. of the invisible God. Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. He exists before anything was created and is supreme over all creation. His existence has nothing to do with anyone for his God.
and the liar they say to you where Jesus says I am God and worship me where who is the Messiah he is the visible image of the invisible God and everything was created by him and for him He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For all by him and all things were created. Everything was created by him, the Messiah. Yet he is born, but doesn't mean that this is his, his, his the time of existence, for he exists with no time. Before he is the Alpha, he is the Omega before Abraham I am so everything for by him all things were created in heaven and earth visible and invisible whatever it is whether whether the throne or the dominion or rules of authority all things were created through him and for him and he is before all things and in him all things hold together and yet they say to us Jesus don't have his own free will. If the whole creation is created by him, which means the will of you to be created, it was the will of Christ. And the Quran actually confirmed that Jesus, he make mud and he breathed into it, which means the Messiah have the power to give life. And if the Muslim, they will say that this is something given to him by Allah, that will be funny. Prove it. Because I can say I gave the authority to Jesus to do that. You can say that too. I can say that I am the one who created the moon too. Hmm? Talk is cheap and Muhammad is the proof that he cannot, it, that is impossible because even the Quran says that Allah could not give Muhammad any miracles. So how he will give Jesus a miracle? Nothing refrain us from sending signs and miracles except people of former generation refuse to believe in them. Quran chapter 17 verse number 59 Allah he confirmed that he has zero miracle given to Muhammad so when the Muslim the Muhammad and they say to you oh Muhammad did many miracles that's mean the Quran is a lie because the Quran says no miracle was given to Muhammad Allah refrain right Yeah, many can claim to be God, as you said, but Jesus, he did things nobody can do save God. Can you do what Jesus can do? You cannot. All right. Uh, they created religion to a human to fear a, uh, to fear to humanity. Uh, you know, sorry, man, you are what, what you are saying is it can be true. It can be true, but not in the case of Jesus. Let me show you why. Because Jesus, he never asked for his own money. He never asked for authority. He never asked even to own a horse. He don't have a palace. He don't have wives. He don't have slaves. And all the miracles he did, it was for free. So your statement can be true if somebody is asking his own glory. Like Muhammad, he want more women, the best of the booty. He want the fifth of the attack. What Jesus did? Nothing except saving people and giving people life. He made the blind see. Did he take money from him? No. So what you are saying is true and in the same time it is silly because Jesus cannot be listed with the rest. I hope you will be smarter next time before you open your mouth. Otherwise you will be like a frog who make a noise but he don't know why. Just because it's raining and he like it. Don't be a frog. Use your mind. The Messiah never asked for anything. While Muhammad, he made verses and chapters about the best of the booty for him. Women, they can give themselves to him. A verse about him, God, he told him supposedly that a woman, she is married to his own son. This is yours. Take her. What Jesus did to himself? He put himself on the cross. Right? 
while Jesus was healing. You see, today, in the year 2020, 21, I mean, soon we will be 30 and 2050 and 2100, or whatever, you know, uh, still nobody can do what Jesus can do. Jesus never used medicine, made the blind see. Jesus never used medicine. He said that the one who cannot walk, walk. The person took his his, his bed and he walked. <laughs> you know, you, can you do what Jesus can do? And what he took in return, and you will see that the most of people he he helped them, they are homeless. In other way, they are useless to Jesus. They have no authority. They have no money. They sleep in the street. They are poor people. He was serving the people, right? Many people who they are not Christians, they receive miracles. All miracles come from Jesus. All miracles come from Christ. Show me one Muslim here receiving a miracle. I will die laughing. Never. Because if Muslim can receive miracle, well, Muhammad should have it first. Shall we? Correct, guys? If, if Muslim can receive a miracle, then Muhammad should have a miracle. Muhammad, he prayed for his God. His sons are still dead. Muhammad dying from poison. He dies slowly and his prayer is not accepted. Where is the miracle of God? Can't he save Muhammad? This is this, his favorite man, Muhammad. He was dying by poison. All what he need, one word from God, and he will be fine. But the poor guy, Muhammad, if I can say poor guy, he was suffering for three, four years and poison is cutting his artery slowly and he was dying slowly. And where is the miracle of God? While Jesus, he made the blind see by saying to him, see. And Jesus, he made the one who cannot walk by saying to him, walk. And Jesus resurrected people from death. Where is Allah to make the stomach of Muhammad work better? That's it. So when you speak about miracles, I die laughing. Shouldn't your prophet receive it first? Muhammad, he exposed himself big time. As an example, he says that the prophet, when they die, the earth will not, uh, the earth will not eat their body. So the Muslim did not bury him because simply he claimed to be God. He told them that we prophets, when we die, earth will not eat us. Read it. And he claimed that the prayer, all Muslims, they pray for him, is going to be submitted to him as if he's God. He said, pray. Pray for me every Friday. Why well, you know, pray for him? Because this guy is a criminal. He was, he's, he's afraid of him. Hell, he knew what will happen. And then the companion, they said, Messenger of Allah, how can our, our prayer, not blessing, Submitted to you, submitted to you. Isn't the prayer submitted to Allah? No, to Muhammad. For this man is mentally ill. How our prayer will be submitted to you when your body will be decayed? The Muhammad, he said, Allah forbid the earth from consuming our body, the body of the Prophet. And then the Muslim did not bury Muhammad for three days, three nights. And then his skin became green and his nails became green and his thumb, they, they shrink. And he starts farting. And the hadith confirm all of those stories. Did they believe they did not bury Muhammad for three days? And remember, this is Saudi Arabia where it's very hot. And his body starts being consumed right away and proving that Muhammad is a fraud. So they did not bury him because he said that. He said our body will not be consumed. Don't worry about us. So when he died, <laughs> he said, why we want to bury him? Uh, he said... His body will not be uh, damaged. That's it. Just leave him out. Just leave him out. The hadith says, his, but, his belly became big with fart. His belly became so big with fart. When Thanat Khunsarahu and his, his fingers, they collapse. You know, when somebody is dying, he die, his, he, like he, he, he grabbed like as if he's holding something with his fingers. And his nails became a green. But yet he said that 
the earth will not consume our body. Obviously, he's a fraud. What happened to the Messiah when he was crucified and he was taken into a tomb? Did that happen to him? No. The Messiah, he came and he appeared to thousands, not only to his disciples, to thousands of people after that before he went up to heaven. So we cannot compare between the filthy, crazy Muhammad who made fabricated lies and between the Messiah. Your prophet, he died and his belly was full of fault. And if you don't believe me, I can show you tons of hadith about that. And by the way, those who want to uh, translate the, this video, I mean, you can cut it as you wish, so you make it shorter. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Let me show you some hadith so the Muslim will not say we are making things up. <sighs> Let us see. Here we go. Let us try to open it in Google Translation so we can use Google Translation in order to make it in Indonesian language. I don't know if that will work. You know, I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, but we can try. All right. Let us put it for you on the screen. All right. This is the book of At Tabaqat al Kubra by Muhammad ibn Sa'd, volume number two, page number 271. It says here that when Muhammad he died, the following conversation happened. Uh, Abu Bakr, he took the stage and he said, speaking about Muhammad, uh, you know, he made a speech, but what is important for us is, he said the following. Reported here by Auf and from Al Hassan, he said, when the Prophet, he died, the Messenger of Allah, he died, and the, 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 the companion of the Prophet, like they gathered together to see what, what uh, uh, what happened, uh, uh, they said, uh, uh, be attention to the Prophet. Maybe Allah, he took him to, to heaven because they were expecting him to be like the Messiah. Allah would take him. So they waited. They waited until his belly became big. And why the belly of a, big man, of a dead man will be big? Because simply it's full of gas and he started farting. He starts farting automatically, even though he's dead. For all the gas had to come out, his stomach will not be able to hold more. So all the food he ate before he died is going to be digested by the bacteria, and then that will make a fart come out of his, his stomach. So this is what it says here. If we translate to, let us translate. Uh, 
Let's translate first to English. Let us see. Um, What the messenger of Allah, okay, Abu Bakr, okay, yeah, see, they, they were expecting him to, to go like the son of Mary, like Jesus, but that did not happen, uh, but let's see why it says that his, uh, his stomach, uh, it should appear here, where is the word, um, what, the one who worship Muhammad, Hmm. Okay, it should be before Abu Bakr. I'm just trying to find out where it says that in here in the translation. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right. Yeah, see here. Yeah, you see here that the translation is funny. It says that his stomach became full of gas, you know, Rabbah the translation is not coming uh, uh, correctly. So he said, uh, let us wait until maybe Allah will take him to heaven, like what happened to Isa. They waited until his belly became full of gas. <laughs> yeah, well, this is the link that this is the, but I don't know if this link will, will work. Let me, let me shorten the link. In Google, uh, because it have like Arabic. Let me shorten it for you, so you can we can post it on YouTube. All right. All right. This is a link for the same. And this, the site, by the way, is a Shia website, but this is a Sunni book. So don't be fooled. They, they will say to you, this is Shia. The, the site is a Shia library, but the book is a Muslim Sunni, is not a Shia. All right? This is what the Muslim Sunni say about their prophet. All right? Anyway, guys, let us finish it here. I hope we have a good time. And it's very funny when a Muslim, they speak about their God and our God. They don't know who is their God. Your God have no free will at all. He have no, Because he does not exist. Your God, he made verses just for the penis of Muhammad. How, how that can be God free will? What free will? Obviously, even Aisha, she said, Inni ara rabbuka yusaru ila hawaka ya Muhammad. Aisha, she discovered that Muhammad is a fraud. So she said to him, when he made verses about, uh, about any woman she can give herself to Muhammad to do boom boom with her, she said to him, I see that your God, he rushed into your... Uh, uh, into the, your desire, Muhammad, you know. Let us see if we can find the hadith. Huh? Read it. You see, you see, you see the garbage? What I actually said, read carefully. I used to look down upon those who ladies who had given themselves to Allah Messenger. Ladies giving themselves to themselves to the Messenger. Why? Prostitution house? What is this? What kind of a prophet? He has already many wives. How women they come and give themselves to him? So Aisha, she considered him a bunch of whore. And they, this is what they are. They sleep with him so they can get the privilege of food, free uh, housing, free food, you know. And I used to say, can a lady give herself to a man? Like what kind of a sick woman she is? She, he's, she's not even married him. She, no, she opened her legs. But when Allah revealed, you, O Muhammad, you can post upon the turn of those whom you will, of, your, uh, uh, of them. And here between the, between the bracket, your wives. This doesn't say wives. What wives? Those who offer themselves. Muhammad, when he made this verse, that women, they can offer themselves. Women who they are old or not good looking. Muhammad, he don't want them. But he told them, any woman, she can give herself to me. And now how we can find a solution for this? So he made a verse right after it says, Oh Allah, he told me I can post upon any woman. So I can, okay, you, you are, you know, she is not good looking. You know what? You come tomorrow, okay? Next week, next week, maybe next next year, next year. 
Oh, you know what? Go, just go. Don't go now. Not now, not now. So he made a verse to make it legal for him to choose who offer himself because he made a verse says any woman she can give herself first. And right away when he find that this is a disaster because all those old women, they are coming, offering themselves so they can get security, free health insurance, free food, free housing. And okay, Muhammad will sleep with us. When those women, they start coming, Muhammad, you don't like that. So he made a verse says that Allah told me I can differ. I can push around. I can refuse or accept any of those who offer me. Read it. And then Aisha, she said to him, when he received the, the verses saying, and you may receive any of whom you will, they there is there is no blame on you. Who will? Muhammad will, not Allah will. If you invite the one whom you turn, you have set aside temporarily, temporarily, between two brackets. Chapter 33, verse number 51 and 50. I said, O Prophet of Allah, I feel that your Lord has tend to fulfill your desire, which is a sexual desire. Do you see it? Ma ara rabbuka illa yusaru'u ila hawaka ya Muhammad. I see nothing but your God. He rushed into your sexual desire. She noticed that this guy is a fraud. Do you see it? And this is Sahih Muslim. We can show it from Sahih Bukhari. Even I actually discovered this is a fraud. And where is the will of Allah? The will of Allah is the will of Muhammad. Actually, if you remember the hadith where Muhammad he, uh, uh, said, uh, let me show it to you. This is the last thing before we go. Uh, that if not Muhammad, Allah will not be creating anything. Where is the will of Allah? No will. Everything was created for the sake of Muhammad. Read carefully with me. Let me put it on the screen for you. This is, I will post the website for you so you can save it and love. Give me a second. Okay, this is the website. You can open it from your side. Actually, the admin already posted. Thank you. And he did not post the same one. Let me post this one. Okay. If you if we read together, the question was, send by a Muslim Muhammadan to the scholars asking them is it true that everything Allah created was for the sake of Muhammad the will of Allah is the will of Muhammad what is the respect respected ulama which means ustaz cleric whatever or scholars of religion and sharia say about this hadith which book this hadith so the answer is, indeed, the Prophet of Allah is the reason for the creation of Adam, peace upon him, and the universe. If the Prophet of Allah was not to exist, then the chair of Allah, the throne of Allah, the board of Allah, the pen of Allah, the iPhone of Allah, the... All will not exist. So who is the one who have the will? Allah? No. Allah, he is exist himself just to create things for Muhammad. Do you see it? Allah himself, he don't have a chair. He, cheer, he, he created his chair because Muhammad told him to create the chair. <laughs> you see it? Allah have a throne. Why? Why he have a throne? Because of Muhammad. Muhammad, he like a throne. So Allah, he made a throne. Muhammad, he like a kursi, which is not an Arabic word, mean a chair. So Allah, he made a chair. Allah, uh, Muhammad, he liked to have a tablet. So Allah make a tablet. Muhammad, he liked to have a qalam, which is not an Arabic word again. Allah, he have a pen. Uh, Muhammad, he liked to have a sky. So Allah made a sky. Uh, Muhammad liked to have earth. So Allah made the earth. Muhammad, he liked to have heaven. So heaven. Muhammad, he liked hell, you know, just to make pizza. And Allah make hell. And uh, Muhammad liked trees. So Allah make it trees. Muhammad liked stones because he need to wipe his ass with the three stones, as you remember. So Allah made the stones. And all other creatures would not exist. Do you see it? According to this story of your prophet, Allah himself is exist just for the sake of Muhammad. What is, what is left? 
Why, why Allah exists? Just to serve Muhammad. You Muslim worship Muhammad. You call him prophet, yes. Servant of Allah, yes. But reality is, he is your God. Hadith number one, Al-Hakim, etc., 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 he said. The prophet of Allah said. Who said that? Prophet. Allah said when Adam he made a mistake, he asked, Oh Allah, I ask for your sake, for the sake of Muhammad to forgive me. <laughs> oh, what? Adam he asked for the sake of Muhammad to forgive him. Allah said, and he was astonished, like, What? Like, what? What? So Allah, he said, What? Like, oh, Adam, when you have, how you do recognize Muhammad when I have not created him yet? <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's a good question. And by the way, Allah, how come Allah is all-knowing? He do not know how Adam noticed. I thought Allah is all-knowing. Eh, forget it. Adam said, oh Allah, when you created me and blow into my spirit, I lifted up my head and I saw written in the Arish, which means the throne, La ilaha illallah Muhammad, the donkey of Allah. So he saw the Shahada. So I got to know that you would only join your name with him who you most be loved to you. Guys, do you see it says Muhammad, he said that Allah, he joined his name with Muhammad's name. Who's saying that? Muhammad telling the story. Which means Muhammad claiming that Allah, he joined his name with, Jin, with the name of Muhammad. This is shirk, mushrikeen. They are mushrikeen, they are kuffar. They claim to be People who worship only God, but they are associating the name of a man with the name of God, claiming that even Allah himself, because the Shahada is a shirk. Allah, he wrote the name of Muhammad in the chair. Like Allah, he cannot sleep. I need mean, to write the name Muhammad under my ass. So Allah said, O oh Adam, you have spoken the truth. Indeed, Muhammad is more beloved. To me, add anything. When you ask me for his sake, I burden you. If Muhammad was not to exist, I would not have created you. Do you see it? <laughs> Christian Prince, why you are created? Because of Muhammad. Christian Prince, why you are going live on air? Because of Muhammad to spank him. Uh, Christian Prince, okay, why, uh, why the dog of the neighbor is created? Because of Muhammad. Do you see it? And you are talking about the will of your God. Your God himself is a servant of Muhammad. Different hadith. Allah revealed to the Prophet Isa. Aha, uh -huh, Isa now. Alayhi salam. See the Muslim is saying Isa alayhi salam, which means peace upon him. But when it's come to Muhammad, they say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which means Allah pray on him. See? Allah pray on him, pray on him and salute him. When they speak about Isa, they say alayhi salam, peace upon him. And this is a proof that when they translate sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as peace upon him is a lie. For sallallahu in Arabic means pray on him. And Allah salute Muhammad. Can you believe it? That God he salute a man? Shouldn't the man salute the boss? <laughs> so uh, 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 Allah told Isa, O oh Isa, have faith. Have faith in Muhammad. Huh? How he have faith in Muhammad? He's not created yet. Order your ummah to do the same. If Muhammad was not to exist, I would not have created Adam, nor I have made heaven or hell. Do you see it? Which means even Isa, if not Muhammad, well, there is no Isa. There is no Jesus. There is no Jibreel. There is no Mikael. There is no Israel. There is no elephant, no feel. There is no Sartabil. There is no Tatabil. They are stupid religion. And they claim that they are following God, right? Why in Islam get a blessing, healthy, prosperity, and the healing, but they don't follow followers of Jesus? Uh, sidebar, I don't know what are you talking about, as I know that in Islamic uh, Muslims, they are not receiving any healing. If this is true, why your prophet himself was not healed? Didn't, isn't it your prophet who died because of poison? So you Muslim receive healing from Allah, but Muhammad don't receive the healing? Don't you see that this is stupid? Actually, the average of life of Muslims is way down, less than the Christians. Go and check the average of age 
in Saudi Arabia and the average of age in other countries. You have the lowest. The lowest, my friend. You say stupid things, my friend. Very stupid. Don't don't come here. I, I, uh, you know, I have patience all the time for you, but uh, I, I lost my patience. This is stupid of you. The blessing. Your prophet died because of poison, and you are telling me blessing. Especially when Muhammad, he says, if I am lying, Allah will cut my artery. And this is exactly how he cut it. And my friend, if you are healthy, as you are a Muslim, why you need the, the, the medicine of Corona from the American and the Israeli? Don't buy the American medicine. Why you buy X-ray made by the American? Just to drink camel urine, as the Prophet said. Isn't it the Prophet you order to drink camel urine? Why you need antibiotic? Don't buy antibiotic. Drink camel urine, eat seven ajwa, and you will be fine. And the funny Muhammad himself is the one who said, if you eat seven ajwa, poison will not kill you. And that later he died by poison, which is very funny. <laughs> you see the stupidity? If, if Allah is a blessing you, what about practicing the medicine of Allah? As an example. Uh, <clears throat> Muhammad, he said that this seed have solution to any disease. Okay, this is my challenge to the Muslims. Now we have Corona. Just take it. Don't take any medicine. Don't go to a hospital. It says in the front of you, the Prophet said, and this is Sahih, that this seed, al habba sauda and here translating it as Nigla seed, have remedy, and actually not remedy only, it says uh, uh, recovery from any disease except death. And here, look how stupid Muhammad is. Is, is death is a disease? Since when? I mean, this is stupid, man. This is stupid. Death is not disease. So, just that's it. We found the solution for anything. Do you have heart attack? Take Nigla seed. Do you have diabetes? Take Nigla seed. Do you have AIDS? Take Nigla seed. Do you have uh, Corona? Take Nigla seed. Do you have uh, flu? Take Nigla seed. Uh, do you have your wife don't like you? Take Nigla seed. Your mother in law giving me a hard time? Take Nigla seed. Christian Prince, he banned you from the chat. Take Nigla seed. Christian Prince, he hang up on you because he cannot take your stupidity no more. Take Nigla seed. You know, you cannot have kids. Take Nigla seed. Like Muhammad, he cannot have kids. His, his private part is not working. I mean, this, this is the one have a solution for anything. Do it. If you are really healthy and you are, this is, here we go, the medicine of Allah. Don't take medicine, don't, uh, all your medicine either is made in Germany or in France or in USA or in Japan or in Israel. Where medicine is coming from? Made by Saudi Arabia? Hello? Guys, I want to tell you a true story. I don't know how many people of you will convert to it now. Uh, my phone, my phone uh, was getting really hot. And it crushed. And I need it, you know. And then... Uh, I drove my car and then my car stopped working and off what a day now the phone and the car and then I said okay well I will walk to the store what I can do the phone is not working the car is not working I will walk so I start walking and then my foot start hurting me and then I said okay my foot hurt me but the other one is okay so I will continue so I found a stick in the side of the road and I start walking with the stick and then my other foot hurt me uh oh and my hand hurt oh boy Man. And my nose, I felt something in my nose. Sometimes I have boogers, but not always. But anyway, and then I remember I went to Walmart. And I said to the person there, do you have Negla seed? She said, yes. I said, okay, that's it. I, she gave me Negla seed. I gave one to me, one to my phone, and one to the car. And I swear by Allah, all of us like horses now. My car is running like a donkey. And my phone is like is running like Allah, and uh, all all the pain I have is gone. That's it. 
I just go to Walmart, I got the Nicholas seed, I gave one to me, one to the phone, one to the car. Don't ask me how I give it to the car, by the way, because this is a secret. I, you know, okay, I will tell you. I put it in the gas. You know, I opened the, the, the gas, uh, you know, and I inserted the, the one seed in the gas, and bingo. And the car like, vish, 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 vish. I felt like I'm driving Ferrari, man. I said, what happened to my stupid donkey, who is a, you know, once I was telling him, my, my mom, she said, where, where are you now? I'm talking to her over the phone. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm my donkey. She took it literally. She said, my son, you went all the way to America to drive a donkey, to have a donkey. I said, mom, it's not a donkey, but it's a, like, it's a small car. I call it donkey. <laughs> so anyway, the second I gave the seed of Nigla to my car, my car became Ferrari. <laughs> Even the police, he tried to chase me to stop me. I, you know, and he want to give me a ticket. You know, he followed me with the motorcycle. Wee, 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 wee. Well, he stopped. Usually, I tell them I'm an Arab. They let me go, you know, because like, okay, he's an Arab. I mean, come on, that's enough. So anyway, but this time did not work because he himself was an Arab. Okay. So I told him an Arab. He said, so what? I'm an Arab too. Uh, oh, okay. It's not going to work. And then I got an idea. I said, listen, forget about the ticket and I will give you a medicine will solve all your problem. He said, what is that? He said, do you have a problem? He said, don't ask me about it, please. I have all problems. I have diabetes. I have rabiti. I have shashatiti. I have makatiti. I have all kinds of iti, you know. I said, okay, listen. You promise if I give it to you, you don't tell the secret to anyone except like YouTube, Twitter, your friends and Facebook. I said, sure. I said, okay. You take the seed and you drink, you eat it right away. And you will become like a horse. I gave him the seed and the guy who forgot his name. He forgot that he is a cop because he became an infant, very healthy. He became so small. Like, I said, what the heck? What happened to you? Why you shrink? The idiot, I gave him the seed. He, he swallowed all of them. He should take only one. The prophet, he says, only one. Don't take ten. So he became so young and now he's at the police no more. So I took his motorcycle and I ran away. And by the way, this is a true story. <laughs> and you are talking about we are blessed by health are you kidding me when your prophet himself dies sick pain is cutting him cutting his aorta what are you talking about anyway guys i don't want to share this actually i hope nobody heard me about about the seed because i'm sure now more all of you will start buying it now and and by the way the negla seed let me make the women buy it now the negla seed if you buy it will make your eyelashes so long uh, by the way, the reason I'm trying to do this because I bought like two tons of seeds and the market is empty from it. So now all of them, they will buy from me. So, uh, ladies, if you uh, use Nicola seed, you will have long eyelashes, natural one, natural. They will grow like this, you know, and your lips will become like a tomato, literally. And your eyes, oh, don't tell me about what will happen to your eyes. Th those seeds will make your eyes very very beautiful like you, your eyes will become like a frog okay and your tongue will become longer which means if somebody insult you like your tongue will like very fast like Aisha when she was fighting with Hafsa and, I, and I'm not going to mention other stuff because it's embarrassing but those seeds will impact every part of your body and you know what I'm talking about like your nails your uh, <clears throat> nose uh, <clears throat> Uh, I mean, uh, you know, whatever, you know, I mean, uh, uh, later. Okay. So uh, anyway, those seeds will solve all your problem. Any problem in the world will solve your seed. This is a prophet of God. All illness in the world. Any medicine. Hmm. <sighs> Religion will not make you, make you become a creative or inventor or scientist. Muhammad, I don't like stupidity, my friend. First of all, we Christian, we don't believe in religion, which means you are a donkey. Secondly, the the biggest number of scientists in the world either they are Jews or Christians. Literally, who is the one who made electricity for you, you idiot? Who is the one who discovered nucle nuclear uh, 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 power? Who is the one who discovered antibiotic? They have religion or they don't. Why people are stupid and naive and donkeys? Go, go, don't come here. I don't have time for kids. 
The biggest numbers actually of scientists in the world, they are Jews. Number two is the Christians. And the reason I say Jews, because we need to compare the number to the percentage of population. You know what I mean? Otherwise, we are number one as a Christians, as scientists in the world. But we cannot say the Christians are number one, because if you compare, uh, you know, how, how big the number compared to three billion, then we will find that the Jews deserve to be number one, for they are a small, tiny nation. Like how many Jews in this earth? 30 million? But if we count how many thousand scientists, important ones, not we are not small things, the biggest discovery in the world, you will find that they are Jews. So when you say such a thing, thing it's, it's a silly, it's a stupid. And I don't like to listen and see stupidity. Don't, please, stupid people, stay away from me. Oh, hold on, I have a, I have a medicine for you. A brother, the stupid one who I blocked your text. Take, take three negla seed every uh, uh, three months, which means every month you take one, because if, I, if you take uh, three negla seed in one day, you will become genius. I don't want you to be genius. I want you just to be very smart. So take negla seed will solve your problem, and then you will notice. All right? That's it. Our problems is solved. You know, sometimes I feel like people who speak they, there's certain kind of people they speak they open their mouth but they don't they don't think i mean sometimes it's like if you if you if you read what this guy's saying religion will not make you inventor but hold on japanese they are religious people and they have the best technology and they are not christians right can we say japanese are stupid I mean, I went to the bathroom in the in Japan. I, I thought I am going to the X-ray uh, hospital room. I sit in the toilet seat like, what is this, man? <laughs> so when people they say things, I die laughing. Stupidity is amazing. And I can say that when a Muslim they get to be scientists right away, they want to make nuclear weapon or they want to make a chemical weapon, etc. But we cannot find really. Uh, uh, between Muslims, maybe I don't know if I don't remember anyone who made something useful. By the way, the first car is made by a Muslim scientist. He made it from Najda seeds. Okay, he simply what he did, he asked Najda seed a favor. He said, Najda seed, can you do something like for transportation? Because Najda seed can help you in anything, any disease, any remedy. Okay, what is the problem now? That we have a problem with transportation. So he asked Najla C to transform into transportation. He woke up in the morning, he found Najla C became a train. Who is the first one who make a train? Muslims. The first one who make a car? Muslims. Bicycle, actually, the first bicycle arrived to Saudi Arabia was arrested by Islamic police and they cut the head of the bicycle, honest to God. They cut the head, they call it the, bi the bike of the devil. The guy, he came from Europe, he brought with him a bicycle. The town, they start talking about his bicycle. The police heard about it. They gathered around his house, Allahu Akbar. They brought the sword, the shaky order, cut the head of the devil. They cut the head of the bicycle. Takbir. If not the kuffar, my friend, the Christians and the Jew. And by the way, do you know that the, 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 the Israel, is the first one who is really they have a cure for corona but it's not uh, to be published yet because they are doing like the final studies the israeli they are the first always uh, <clears throat> a, a, toilet, a toilet paper shortage in the uh, in middle east i don't know about that i don't know you know I don't know about what people. I'm not following their 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 poop news. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, guys, I think you have enough of me. And uh, those guys who want to copy this video, please cut it off because this became so long, and uh, you do not need to post all of it. It's really long. We want to answer this guy, this guy, and we we have a good time. Uh, tomorrow I will try to come back live on air. I don't know what time. You know. Hold on. If I take Najla seed now, now it's like 1.43 a.m. Hmm. So if I take Najla seed now, 
by the morning uh, I think I can't take it now because now because you see when you take Nadal seed when it's late at night you became a super genius and your brain will like will start thinking so hard so hard so hard because it's very powerful super seed you know those uh, this is not normal seed actually the reason I nobody can debate me I, I should not say that I, I, and now people will discover what is the behind why I'm Okay, let's change the topic. I, I'm not going to tell you that I am nobody can debate me because of my seed. I will never say that. I never said that, and I did not say it. Okay, so uh, this is uh, okay. I did not say that. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we pray for the Muslim to see the truth, but in the same time, my friend, prayer will not just work. You see that even the Lord He says, "Faith without fruits." Is dead faith. That's what the Bible says. So many of us we pray for Muslim to see the truth, but that alone will not work. You have to show them. You have to show them. You have to guide them. You have to show them the stupidity. And this is in front of us is nothing but their stupidity. How in the world this can this man can be a prophet? You know, if you remember when a, when a, when a person his uh, his brother he came to Muhammad and uh, he keep. You know, he told him, he did not even ask him what the problem of your brother. He came to him, he said, my brother have a problem with his stomach. Muhammad right away said to him, let him drink honey. The guy went home, he stayed there for a few days. His brother is getting more sick. He came back again. He came for a second time, said, my brother is getting worse. The prophet said to him, let him drink honey. The guy, he came for the third time. My brother is dying, man. The prophet, he screamed at him and he says, let him drink honey. The guy, he came again and the guy is dying. And then the prophet said to him, the prophet said, Allah has said the truth and your bro brother's stomach has told a lie. Where is the healthy guy? Have you ever heard of a doctor like this? Dr. Muhammad, he said to the patient, your stomach is lying. What? And then, guys, this guy, he never came back, which means he was cured. Obviously, he died. He never came back. And they say to him, look, so he made him drink honey, and he was cured. But this is in this version of this hadith. The guy, he did not come back. You see here, the story is different. It happened, it happened, you know. Yeah, any anyone come to you, even if you have diabetes, you tell him to drink honey. So honey or the seed of negla. I thought negla seed have a solution for everything. This this guy, Muhammad, he stuck with medicine for some time. So sometime he stuck with the honey. That's it. Anyone come to him, doesn't matter what the disease, take honey. Then he stuck with seven ajwa. What is this ajwa story? Look at this. Dr. Muhammad, very famous doctor, very famous. Hmm? Brother, the Prophet said, if somebody takes some ajwa, they eat every morning, he will not be affected by poison. And the funny, which is make it more hilarious, and he will not be affected by magic. And the most hilarious is that Muhammad was affected by both by magic and by poison he died by poison and he was bewitched according to muslims so what is <laughs> the doctor he was telling us take ajwa and that poison will not affect you and magic will not affect you he himself he was affected by both he died by poison and he was bewitched by magic according to muhammadan isn't it hilarious to be follower of muhammad I mean, how in the world you Muslim can follow this guy? You know? By the way, I eat ajwa every day. So, and now I think you know my diet. Najla seed, uh, ajwa, and honey. Uh, but uh, I forgot to tell you something. Uh, camel urine. I mean, camel urine, hello. The Prophet, 
he ordered his followers to drink camel urine. And by the way, the Muslims, they have tons of articles about how healthy the camel urine is. <laughs> and the funny, one of the articles that says that in Japan, there are some diseases, they shower with camel urine, or let us say they have a jacuzzi of camel urine because it's an acid, it kills a bacteria. They shower with it. They don't drink it. Crazy people, man. Oh, boy. <sighs> anyway, uh... I hope all of you will learn a lot of medicine today, but don't, don't even try it, okay? Yeah, the prophet spitting is a medicine too. Prophet spitting, prophet uh, washing his underwear is a medicine. The Muslim they was fight. Uh, actually, there is a movie in YouTube about the Muslims fighting over in the over the poop of the camel of Aisha, because it's a holy poop. And in the video you will see how the muslim they hold it in the front of their mouth and they and that and the guy he says ah smells so good i'm serious i'm serious let me find it uh, uh hold on hold on let me find it uh, movie but i don't think there's a translation it's in arabic I'm trying to remember what the name was. <clears throat> I show it to you once. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, well, I cannot find it. Yeah, yeah, here we go. I found it. Who won it? Who who won the movie? Actually, it's a short video. <laughs> it's a the 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 real movie is a big movie. It's a long movie, but here they have it a short part, where uh, let us see. Yeah, here we go. Uh, okay, this is the this is the movie. I'm not going to play it in the screen, so they will not say copyright, etc. But this is the video. All right, you will see in the moment, uh, like uh, one after the minute. We'll skip the first mo uh, one uh, one minute. You will find the camel of Aisha, which is was supposed to red. And the Muslims, the wait enter the camel of Aisha, poop, and when he poop. They fight over his poop because this is the camel of Aisha, you know. And you will see the guy he hold the poop in his in front of his mouth, and he sniff it, and like you like wow, oh, alhamdulillah, you know. Did you see it, guys? This is a, this is a movie, by the way, made by Muslims, not by us. Don't think this is a Muslim movie. This is a Muslim movie. This is not uh, made by uh, Christians, Jews, blah, 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 blah. You know? Yeah, this is a Muslim movie. And uh, the camel the poop of Aisha. Psh, I mean, if the poop of the camel of Aisha, they are fighting over it. What they would do with the poop of, of Aisha? Hmm. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Uh, guys, I think it's enough for us today. Uh, it's time for me to eat Najda seed uh, and drink camel urine and eat some honey and uh, get some poop of uh, uh, Aisha camel so we can make salad, halal salad for Ramadan. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you all and Lord have mercy with the stupidity of a human being. No, I cannot play it so they don't play, claim a copyright over it. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, uh, Christ is Lord and Islam is funny. And if you have diabetes, don't listen to Muhammad and take honey. <laughs> take care. God bless.